And we want to welcome all of you at home to our exclusive coverage of the first and in all likelihood last annual I Heart the D Golf Invitational. Our own Charlie LaDuff will attempt to golf the length of the city of Detroit. He'll be going from Eight Mile Road to the Cup on Belle Isle. It is a par 3,168, an 18 mile, yes, 18 mile single hole course, sure to be filled with hazards, heartbreak, hope, and the element of surprise. LaDuff will be using four clubs. That's it, Mulligans. We don't roll like that, so let's do this. We take you now to the abandoned midway of the old state fairgrounds. Charlie LaDuff, the 46-year-old man from the city of Detroit. He's won a Pulitzer Prize, but nothing would be a bigger crowning achievement. Right down the middle, babe. Why, where is it? It's pokey. Hey, Bob, could you help me with the clubs? Mind if I play through? Go for it. Right from the get-go, I'm realizing this here might be the stupidest idea I've ever had. It's 100 degrees, I'm wearing black, and I can't golf. But I'm committed because they're talking to reinventing this city. What does that mean with millions in budget cuts? What does a city even really look like block by block? Who lives here? What do they want? What do they need? Has anybody asked them? Besides, how many cities are so empty you can take a full-on swing? So. Right away I run into trouble. I lost my ball in the weeds on Robin Wood Street. This lady lost her dog. Trying to kill herself. Yeah. No shoes on. She's in one of them three houses. What are they? What is she doing? She's killing herself. How do you know? Because she took all the pills I owned. How old is she? Twenty. And she old enough to look out for herself? I don't want my kid dead. Alicia! She says she's called 911 but can't get a cop. I find a couple. They're trying. But with City Hall jamming cuts down their throats, that's not going to make them come any quicker. We got people that's above us that don't care. They don't care about us. They want us to come to work and hustle and do everything it is, but they don't care about us. Take less. Right, take less and do more. There's a lazy, she's going crazy. Her daughter stole her pills. So her name's Alyssa, and uh, yeah, if you see her, you know. Situation under control. I've got a round of golf to play. Right down the fairway. Oh! Oh! Now, it's becoming obvious that the hazards on this course are a real man-eater. This, though, is the stuff from which legends are made. I think it's in this rat hole, man. from the city. How's your game? Yeah, I'm on fire. On How, fire. How's the city? The city's on fire too, man. The some are really about to heat up for Detroit firefighters after getting word that more than 160 of them are about to be laid off. This after firefighters on the city's east side were out battling more than 20 suspicious fires from dusk to dark. Detroit today reminds me of those old black and white photos of the Dust Bowl, grass and shacks. And like almost everywhere in America today, the people are desperate for help from a government they don't trust. We make the neighborhood. We want the money. You gotta make the neighborhood. We that downtown, money. you're doing more for downtown, but what about the people that live outside of downtown? Right now, I'm about to lose my license because uh, the police of Detroit keep coming in, you see me ticket after ticket. Nobody's coming to cut the grass. There's not that much money to cut this grass. They're not coming. How they leave it. 
I'm sick and tired of this administration. I'm sick and tired of Fakano. I, I, it's just time for a whole clean slate. The elderly can't take this homeless situation out here. And that's where you put in half of it, out here in the street. We had a work buff system, not in the uh, country, but in the world. This is your police sentence. Right. That's my protection right now. What's this place? Dude, like a jungle. The city blew millions of dollars a decade ago to buy out a neighborhood, clear it, and make an industrial park. It's um, mother nature now. Uh, all sorts of exotic elms and maples and grasses and birds that you do not find anywhere else in Detroit. Breathe. 94 home stretch, baby. He has entered the infamous Packard plant. Closed in the late 50s, people from as far as China coming to get a look at what was once a symbol of American prosperity and workmanship, but now stands as a symbol of urban decay. I got an idea, let's plan a trip around that. Looking to the historical building here, he got to know uh, the, the, uh, the history of Detroit and also the uh, recession. A car hasn't come out of here since 1956. I don't know how we let it stand when it brings the whole people down. Children live next to this place. I have not worked since 2008. So now all I do is I take care of my grandson because he's a special needs child. But I mean, there's no jobs out here. I've put in applications and applications and applications and there are no jobs. How do you eat? <laughs> FIA, I get food stamps, and get by the best way I can. All right, we're seeing the conditions have really deteriorated out there. Leduff's shoes literally melting off his feet. His driver has left him. We don't often associate Hail Marys with golf, but right now, our favorite Leduffer needs some divine intervention and and we're getting word that there is something happening out there let's take a look oh heavenly father help charlie on his way with his golf clubs help him be straight father give him the strength that he needs especially out here in this heart this heat deacon i'm also in need of some charity would you have any ten and a halfs in there oh these are what we have Ooh. it might be a little big for you charlie but I don't know. A beggar can't be a chooser. God has delivered me. We ask in your son Jesus' name for his sake we pray. Amen. 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 Stay to the right, man. Get in the hole. Get sweat. Oh. Stop. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking weather news from Belle Isle with rain, wind and lightning. Remember, stay inside as this storm passes and whatever you do, don't run around with a metal rod in your hand, you moron. Back to you, Dan. Rich, I'll tell you, that's good advice for the average man, but we're dealing with something very different here. Charlie LaDuff, reporter, warrior, now trying to finish this incredible challenge. Let's go greenside, where Ryan Armani has the call. He's been through rain. He's been through torrential downpours, 100 degree heat. He's been propositioned for sex, drug deals. And now, here's the approach. Here's the approach. He hit in the sand. He hit it in the sand. He hit it in the sand. Uh-oh. There it is, folks. There it is. Charlie. It was really, truly mind-boggling to see all the people rooting you on. How does that feel? All in all, pretty good feeling, you know what I mean? I feel, I feel that we can, and I just did. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> 2,525 strokes, and I golfed every inch of it. 
I'm thinking back to what I saw behind me. A city, its people, holding on, waiting for a savior. A savior who may not be coming. I wonder if the people know that the savior might be found within themselves. Their neighbors, maybe. Their families, most definitely. The old saying is true. No man is an island. I'm Belle Isle, Charlie LaDuff, Fox 2 News.